I like you getting the yellow and red cards out early, just in case. Well, I just had them. I just thought I saw Ashes then and thought I haven't even got all these. I've got a five a side team. Uh, we've you got Cafu. Well, they were all there, but they've all ended up on my side. That? Is that it's Nesta? Van der Mede. Uh, yeah, Andy Van der Mede played for Everton. No idea. Everton, no, uh, Everton midfielder. Right, yeah, there you go, Will. Obviously not around. And then you've got... I've actually got oh, a David Seaman. You've got David Seaman. You actually have got a good Dida. Is that Dida? Right, we, we've got Dida. We've got Rivaldo. Oh, we've got a good side four. here. We've got, we, we only really need four. We've got Rivaldo, Danielson. Oh, this is a good Danielson. team. And uh, Juan Pablo Angel. <laughs> 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 Hello, hello, <laughs> welcome, welcome back to episode 17. 17. Is it? It's eight well, all in the quiz. <laughs> we haven't really discussed the quiz. It's eight all in the quiz. Uh, we've got loads to talk about. It's International Week, but the but we, you know we filmed this a little bit later, and actually it's kind of played into our hands a little bit, because what's the big news of the day? Thomas Tuchel. Thomas, Thomas Tuchel. Tuchel. I, was, I was trying to think of something a bit clever to <laughs> say there. <laughs> <laughs> and there was a little bit of silence. Yeah, I thought, what can chance, I say that's funny? The imposter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's try again. What's the big... <laughs> no, don't. I still haven't got anything. Yeah, Thomas Tuchel. Thomas Tuchel. Um, your pro? Are we jumping straight into yeah, it? Yeah, let's go going straight into it. Let's go through. We've got to start there, haven't we? Uh, Ash, I'm quite interested to know your opinion on I'm Thomas Tuchel. I'm pro Thomas Tuchel as a human being, but not as the England manager. As I was saying to Tom... He's a very nice man. I was reading his Wikipedia. Well, Southgate's a nice man. Region. He can't manage. No, but this, he's a very nice. I, I don't know if he's as nice as you think he is. Right. Have he had a house. The, have you heard some of the. <laughs> oh, this is good. He had a house made. Oh, this I, is, I this is verified. This is verified through Wikipedia. He had a house <laughs> made in, when he was at PSG. Filipino house made. And um, where's this going? He paid <laughs> for her child's heart surgery and paid for her house in the Philippines. Yeah, but he was the dad. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sorry, what, sorry. Well, in that know, case, I that. quite like him in the you England role. <laughs> he's quite serious this country, he's doesn't he? Gonna part, he's going to party with Greenland, should he? I just think if he's a nice man, yeah, let's... let's oh, say well, it. in that case, like, what? I'm... I'm, I'm I agree man. with I what have, you're I saying. I have pros and cons as yeah. to why he should be England. I agree. I don't I, feel like he should as be. An, as a manager, yeah, fantastic. Really, really good. Got a good CV. Big game sort of manager. Good at knockout football, but there's a huge, huge cloud over this man's head, and it is the colours of the German flag. Oh my god! Is this is this so what you're against? Him? I can. I, I think this is absolutely all kinds of wrong. Wow! You cannot have a German in charge of the national team. Wow. Winston Churchill did not fight on the beaches. <laughs> to have Thomas Tuchel <laughs> wearing three lines. Correct. <laughs> Correct. It's a different. There's, there's certain oh, things oh. in life it's that do Britain. not go together, and a German in charge of the English national team. You're telling me. That you, you, if we're in the final of the the World Cup in 2026 against, and we're Germany. against Germany, right? Ooh. And we're on the national anthem's been belted out. Obviously, he's probably not going to sing the national anthem anyway. That's a well, another Lee, Lee Carson, Imagine he started Lee singing Carson. the Brilliant. German national anthem. If he did, then that's fine. But he's not going to against Jordan Germany. Pickford up front. And you're telling me deep down. Somewhere inside him, there's not going to be a tiny little bit of him that no, wants Germany I don't to win. So. We've had Sven and Capello. Uh, no, yeah, it's different. We have, we have no it's different. different. Italy and... Yeah, there it is. It's in England is nowhere near as big as a rivalry. I don't think Italy England got on with us in the war. Yeah, but... Pretty sure Berlusconi was a bad man as well. Yeah, but... Going into history. But, 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 but <laughs> that it's not It's not as historically well-known like as... This, <laughs> this is, is taking a real... Yeah, this is... It's not the same. There is... And there's a lack of rivalries in football at the moment. And this just shows it. This is everything that's wrong with the modern game. Do you think it would have been the same kind of hysteria, hysteria if it was Jurgen Klopp? Yeah, he's still German. No, for but me, I, yeah. do, I don't think it would have been as Germanified. I do know what you mean, actually, because yeah. Thomas Tuchel does seem a lot he more German. He does seem German. a lot more German. <laughs> he does. He does. Klopp he lives in England Daniel for like Farker eight years. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. Hello there. I'm from Berlin. <laughs> That's, that's my German impression. Uh, I did a good American one last week. I did a good German oh one this week. Oh, my God, yeah. Um, but I, so I thought you were against Tuchel because of your, like, like just, like, what you think of him as a, as a no. manager. You think there's better managers out there. No. no you're, you're just literally just going, oh, uh, xenophobia, pure. Absolutely. Pure, pure, pure simple. Patronism. Pure, pure that's what I'm wing. Would you have been <laughs> happy with Pep Guardiola? Yes. Because he's not German. <laughs> oh, is it just German? It's oh, just I, he's I German. I'm to a wall here. <laughs> 
England and Germany, quite clearly, historically, renownedly, do not like each other. Did you go to Germany? Yeah, there, is, there is, there is. They, they welcomed us. Right? Hang on a minute. Hang house. on a minute. Uh, is there a chant about Spanish air fighters? No. Yeah, is there a chant about Swedish air fighters? No. Is there a chant about <laughs> German air? Yes, there is, and we sing it every single summer. We can't be singing it anymore. Ex- exactly. Surely. But now, so we all of a sudden, the well, they woke brigade. Exactly. We'll have Thomas Tuchel singing everything. two. What was it? Two world wars. A one world two world exactly. Women. <laughs> yeah. Two world wars. One. There's another chant again. Exactly. There's nothing to do with Spain or anything like that. It it is all kind. It's, well, it's not all kinds of wrong. <laughs> it's really not all kinds of wrong. But I just don't think it's. I think it's tarnished. I think already he his reign is tarnished because he's German. I genuinely, I, I genuinely mean that. I was so 50 50. Because I, I do think he's a great manager. I think that he's an am- amazing knockout football. He's obviously proven he can win trophies. He gets the best out of players. He got the best out of Kane at Bayern Munich. He knows, obviously, Kane as well, which is, which is useful. But it, I, I just cannot get over the fact that he's German. But, like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I feel like there's no one still alive that fought in the wars. I know, I and I get that. Sorry to our older listeners there. I get, I know, and <laughs> I get that. You are still that, alive. Like, part of it me just seems a bit like, how far back do you want to go? Like, but I'm just so like, patriotic. Who cares? It's, it's just, I just, I can't, honestly, do you know I genuinely what you need? mean do you know what you need? I cannot. I think, I just knowing you as I do, I think you need, like, you need a rival in your life. Yeah. In general, in, in various <laughs> stuff. You need, like, a foe. And I, I do, think, and I think, and I think Germany in your head was like one of those, one of those rivals that you can go, Ugh! and now you've got to kind of half like them. Like, I do, I, I, I do. that's actually your problem. And when I went to Germany, when we went to Germany, I loved it. It was the good. They really well welcomed, welcomed us. Really welcomed us. Really nice. They've got past it. Yeah, I know. I just, I don't. Yeah, I don't but they were on the wrong team. Were, well, just, <laughs> well, are we the bad guys? <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I feel like it will just always, unless he comes out and he's the most English German man you've ever seen. Probably a bit like Klopp has done. Because the problem with you, Jack, is he's going to win the <laughs> World <laughs> Cup. Here we go. He's going to win the World Cup in America. Oh, no, I and you're going to have Tuchel t-shirts on him two I'll, be wearing, so. I'll be wearing a cap with <laughs> Thomas Tuchel's nuts on. <laughs> with It'll be the German first flag. game <laughs> of the World Cup and you'll be pissed as a fart in a pub. I know, I Absolutely know. bellowing the his name. National anthem. What do I am excited for? A chant that will come out about something to do I with think, him I being think German and come coming out. to England. That, that'll be something. Um, it's just... I, at some point, it will happen. I, I, I think it will happen where we will play Germany and he will be in charge. And I, I just, I, I don't think, if I was in charge of Germany, right, as an Englishman, I would, and we play, and they played England, I'd, I'd, I'd want England to win. <coughs> of course, I, I, I don't know if you would. I would. I, I think professional pride, professional pride will get in. Get in. It, it wouldn't. Tom, what no, do you think I of, um, the job. What, what, what do you think of Harry Kane? Obviously, Harry Kane managed him last year. There's a bit of a link well, there. Can, he's, yeah. He's um, under Tuchel. He's got the best goal per game ratio in his career, yeah. which is eighty-nine minutes for goal. It'll be interesting to see w- w- how bad, he how he gets the best out of the players and what players he goes for. If he goes from the thing is as well, he's, he, one thing you need to be an England manager is a bit of arrogance, mm. a bit of something about Cajones. it. And he yeah, and he does have that. You never felt like Southgate was in charge. In terms of, you never felt like he had a clear plan. He knew exactly what he's doing. He stuck with it, and he he, he had complete respect of everyone in there. He's not world class, is he? Yeah, that's kind of what I'm saying. Like you feel like with Tuchel, like he could come in with a bit of a swagger. Yes, and, and, yeah, and, and, and very, and very different. Him. He's won the Champions League as well. Exactly. I, I think he's that. got something to prove again because it, it it did well at Bay Bayern start with, but they got smashed well, last season. Was it PSG? He didn't do very well at PSG. No, he did all right. He got to the Champions League final. Champions League final. Chelsea did well. But in his his last his last few roles, PSG, Chelsea, and Bayern, he hasn't really been there more than like eighteen months. They won the Champions League with Chelsea. He signed an eighteen month deal with us. Exactly, which I think is a very smart way of doing it. Because what from the FA? I think smart from the FA or smart from his side? Smart from the FA. I think smart from the FA. We'd have well. to what, pay out. Yeah, they've, I think they've, that's really smart. They've, 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 they've brought him in. They've gone, right, we're showing intent. We are bringing in a world-class manager. And you've got the world. You are right. And 2026 yeah, world exactly. you've got the world inside world. that 18 months. I, right. think, I think that's, I didn't know that's, it was 18-month contract. That's when it'll come. That it's, 10, it's, it's the end of 2026, yeah. which is when we go and get our man, Eddie Howe. But why Pep. would you not get him now? Pep, because he won't leave now. Um, and because I think he because would, it was it, it was an a, a yeah, expensive would. buyout, wasn't it? Pep Guardiola, I get because obviously we need someone to come in, and we can't wait till the end of the season. So that Pep Guardiola, one I can get. Um, it feels uh, ambitious, doesn't it? To, yeah, yeah, all I, of it. I, I mean, like they've they've approached Pep, and they've they've admitted they're, so they're doing they're something different. They are, but it's but then are they because they did this with Capello? They did this with Sven. Yeah, like they like I remember but Capello. I was really excited for Capello. See, I don't really. I don't I'd, ch- I'd say that Capello's peak, and you, you can correct me if I'm wrong, 
was more like nineties to early two thousand. We yeah. got we got him in late. He, wa- he was Tuchel on the, he was and on the way. Sven wasn't quite at the level Tuchel is. He did well at that year. Well, Tuchel but must be a lot younger. Tuchel How must be our 40s? first ever appointment where we've hired a manager at the top. I of the think game. it's. Since I, like, I actually feel I weird know. talking about Thomas Tuchel. As yeah, I think you're right. Cause he, cause if you I look like at, it though. If you look at like if you look at Keegan, he was kind of on the back end a little bit. Glenn Hoddle's on the back end a little bit. You you're right. Keep Tuchel going is. Bobby Robson probably was. Bobby the Robson last was on one. the back. End. No, Bobby Robson was still. Oh no, no, sorry. Well, yeah, but he was still. He must have been in his fifties at that point. But he was at. The top of his game, probably. Yeah, there. he just got for Barcelona, and he which and, is a know. long time ago. And he did a good job. He did, did a really good job. Like you are right as well about what you're saying in terms of it, it shows intent and it shows. Look, we know how good of a team that we've got right now. Yeah. We should be winning a tournament. Mm-hmm. We should be getting them two stars above the badge in 2026. But I just, I just don't. Know. I just feel like there's a cloud over it. That's all I feel like. And I, and I love the appointment in terms of his CV, who he is, what he's done, how he gets the best out of players, yeah. what he will do. That it, unfortunately, he just happens to be yeah. from that nation, which is is. Well, do you, do you think we're kind of a different beast now than when Southgate took over? Like you said, kind of about, yeah. about yeah. being able to being able to yeah. go. Actually, we're going to go after Pep. We, I think, we are in terms of how the, the teams viewed by the country. I think how the teams viewed by the media. I think how the team is viewed within <coughs> itself in terms of the fact that when the guy Southgate took over, it was probably still a bit not as pally as it is now. Now inside not, the camp. Not a chance. Yeah, now inside the camp, they're all really close. They're all good friends. Yeah. And they're coming from the under-23s as well. He's done a good job, Southgate. Oh, he's done an amazing job. Yeah, yeah. I, I, really I, I would really have absolutely job. loved for him to have won a tra- Like, that would have been just perfect. If you think about like, he's done such a good job. He has. He has. Like, when, when he they took over from Roy in 2016 when they lost to Iceland, like that was, it was a mess. Yeah. yeah. It was and terrible. Roy didn't have a good hand, to be fair, either. Like, we'd lost the golden generation. We were, we were just a, a lost hand. team, yeah. weren't we? So and now uh, we've got another golden generation mm. coming through now. I thought, I, I, I thought it would, Tuchel would go to Man United. I thought. Yes, mm. that's what. But I, now, I thought, I thought now, that was perfect for them. But now I think Southgate will go to Man United. Oh, no. God, I hope, that, I hope that happens. Yeah, but it makes I sense. He said, it it he said he won't take a role for 12 months, though. I think though. it makes sense. I do think it makes sense. He would be a disaster at Man United. I don't Absolutely. Think he would. No, he would. You, do you he think would. Listen, listen, listen. He'd be a disaster. I think he'd be a disaster. What have we been talking about all year? Listen, listen. Think how much of a disaster England was when he came in at England. Think how how badly we were viewed. No, We've just been it's absolutely it's smashed. By you're not, you're you're not, you're not playing Liverpool. Different. He's not a manager in England. And I get that. And you got time to get your Gareth players. Southgate is not a manager. Oh my God, he'd be a disaster. <laughs> I, 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 I want to see it. I think I'd like. I want to see it. I think he'd steady the ship a little bit. No, I do. No, he's 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 he's, he's, he's not so a good, good club with manager. The media. He's so good with dealing with players. He gets people like he does. He is. Uh, You've he, got his proven know. record in management is really at England. That's about it. Obviously, was was it was it Borough for a little bit or something yeah, like that? Player manager them. Yeah. yeah so whatever he was, but his 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 CV is basically the England role, and what he's done at the England role is probably what Man United need a little bit. It is someone. Yeah, but you don't have someone that to time. connect the fans more. Is that? No, is not it, is that. that, is that what you're saying? Connect to Man United. I'm not saying that. I'm saying because so t- there's so many egos. There's so many. Southgate is quite clearly an um, unbelievable man manager. Yeah, he's quite clearly he is. Yeah. And Man United at the moment, Ericsson's coming out and saying that the, they think that the FC 20 players want want it more than the Man United players do. There's Marcus Rashford is, is uh, Marcus Rashford is not as good as what he used to be or what he should be. You've got players that quite clearly don't really get on with each other. You've got players that aren't doing what they should be doing. Uh, uh, Gareth the Southgate... Problem, the problem is, is he's tactically... Not, yeah, yes. kind of, so so you could have an Arnie Slot and a Pep Guardiola who are also very, very good man managers, mm. but they're also incredibly good tacticians. And unfortunately, that is where Gareth Southgate will come unstuck if he becomes a Premier League That's manager. For yeah. any, for any club. I, yeah, I agree. He I could not be I a manager. It'd be a disaster. I just Once it starts going bad as well, I think it'd go really bad. The if fans are turning him. Yeah. So where does he go next? I, 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 think, I, don't, I, think, I don't think he does. I think he goes upstairs. A nice, cushy yeah. director he, role. He should, yeah. be, he should be getting another role at England. Yeah. 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 Just yeah, not yeah, as yeah. the manager. Yeah. I wouldn't want him in charge of my club. It's a bit hard. No, I want him in charge. I, I really like Michael. Southgate. I've always You'd want him like in and Southgate. in and around, but he's not a manager. No, he's not. Which I, is I'm the point we so. keep coming back he's to. Got, he's got not, he's not. He hasn't got lucky per se, but it's been he the has. right role. It's been the right role for him. I, I think he could have stayed on. Ship. I don't think it. I want. I want to be annoyed if he stayed on. But I'm quite, like I'm quite, I'm quite excited. I'm quite excited for Tuchel though. I yeah. I, I, yeah. I am. I just for me, there's just a, a cloud. That's Look, all. Can we come? Can we say one thing? When we win the World Cup, uh, can we have some I'll breakfast? Come dressed as a light can, later hosen. Right, fine. You've got that. You've got that <laughs> on here. Right, fine. Yeah, I right. will come dressed in a later hosen with a stein 
and a pot of frankfurters. Fine. And Rob, Rob, I won't Rob. say anything the whole podcast. I'll just drink and eat the, sh- the, the sausages. Also, <laughs> just like to <laughs> just to add as well, Tuchel, Tuchel's best time as a manager has been when he's played five at the back. Yeah. Do you think he'll do that with England? I don't think we've got three decent centre halves. Who are you playing there? Okay, just then. So then, what 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 do you do? But you but you can play one centre half in a back five, can't you? You can play really, one centre. Of course you can. You can play one centre half. A right back, a left back, and wing backs. No, I'm saying then you've got like your right centre half is Walker, your left centre half is Shaw. Baines. And then yeah, yeah, Baines. But then you're just sticking And then you've square. got and then you've got no, and then you've got not for me. I can, you've got foot wing backs, haven't you? I you can, can see him dropping Saka into left wing back. That, that's yeah, what Saka, I think he'll do. That's, that's, that's what I think he's gonna do. Well, Saka's played left back before. He played left wing back for Arsenal last season. He needs to start Palmer, doesn't he? So that's it will be very it will be very, very interesting to see what he does. At least he has an identity with that formation. I also think sorry. Sorry, time to go. Sure. I think what he will do is he'll do something very similar to the Spanish manager. What's his name? De La Fuente. Yeah. Uh, in in the fact that he won't play every player that is the best in that position. Mm-hmm. He will play a team that is balanced, and he'll have. He'll, uh, I think big names will will not. I, be I think that's a really good shot. I I think he'll have fallouts. I, I, I think I, he will. I don't no, I think he will. Fallout. In terms of like omitting players from squads. Yeah, but I don't uh, know if it'll be a fallout. For I think having fallouts. Will, mm. yeah, yeah, he is. But I don't know if it will be like a, a fallout. It will be more of a like a. You're gonna have to understand that the way I'm no, playing no, this is for what, balance. That's what I mean. I don't mean like. They've had an argument. He's dropping him. Yeah. I mean, he's going to drop some big players. Yes, he, he is. I think you're right. He's going to drop some big players, and therefore it's going to be a fallout. Yeah. Be like, and actually, he's just not going to get back in the squad. Yeah. A Grealish is going to go, and he's just <laughs> never. Like he's, he's never going to come back in the but squad. But then the beauty of that, with it being him, is he's got the arrogance to do that. Oh no, yeah, you back him. Why, you back yeah, him. which is why there I just was an argument with Southgate that he was a bit. You know, you talk about man management. He was a little cap. bit too yeah, pally. Yeah, yeah. Well, Ben White. I was. Yeah, just yeah. I know. I know. I know. If he can back him, maybe that's the answer. Tuchel in charge for the next international break. Is it what, no, November. He starts in January. Ah, oh, that's January. a shame. That would Why? be good to see. I don't know. That's when he's got contact. three weeks. Do we still have Lee Carsley for them? Yeah, it'll be Lee Carsley. Yeah, Lee Carsley playing like the four one one two one. Wouldn't it be great? Three. If Lee Carsley <laughs> starting <laughs> himself. <laughs> starting <laughs> himself. He's playing five numbers. He just played every under twenty three player. Lee Carsley. Give them all their first cap. Throw his toys out. Yeah. Okay. Right. Question. We'll finish on Tuchel. But the last question is: Where would you say? Us finishing in the Mex in the American World Cup n- next year in 2026. We have to so win. Way, where would you say is, is a good result for two? We people? have to win it. If you final losing finalists in the World Cup, no, you're not. You're, you're, a, uh, I mean, if we get to the final, then I think with him being German, like you say, extra pressure. He needs to go and win it. But then, exactly, and also, but then, what is the difference between him and Southgate then? If if we're saying that Southgate is not, he can't do it at a club level. He's not actually that good of a manager. It, what if if Tuchel doesn't come in and win it? Surely that is a disappointment. No, no, I'll, 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 tell I'll tell you what it is. Southgate's got to two finals and lost. Yeah. If Tuchel does that, what's the difference? Tuchel, there is no difference. Tuchel needs to come in Tuchel's and compete squad, well. with the best nations, which is something that Southgate was never able to do. Yeah, I think that's, that's fair true. Point. That's but fair he point. always yeah. still got us a lot further than Until we else. came up against a top nation. World Cup France. The other World Cup, it was Croatia. Exactly. My, my, my kind of final conclusion on Tuchel is there's not a single other manager you could name to go, I wish he got the job instead. Is there? Eddie Besides Howe. Eddie Howe. I, well, I think Graham Potter. Would Graham Potter. I, I, I would rather Thomas really Tuchel than Eddie Howe if I, if I had the choice no of both. No way. I would put, no, forget also, just forget the nationality. I'm just saying I'd, I'd rather Thomas I don't Tuchel. think we're going to win the World Cup even with two, with anyone because it's in America as well. Like I feel like the America teams are going to be the South American teams are going to be the most. Yeah, Brazil haven't like been just great. Sorry, yeah. just no, but to... But they might be in two years. To yeah. go back to the whole German thing which is obviously not <laughs> my... my uh, Debacle with it all. <laughs> if we look at other managers that have <coughs> won the major trophies with the countries recently as well, they're not they're not the biggest name. They're not the best manager, but they're from where they are. Where they're from their country. Scaloni with Ar- is it Scaloni? Is that his name? Mm. With Argentina, he's Argentinian. He's not really a massive manager. No one really knew about him before that. Well, we had De La Fuente, Spanish. Not really the biggest manager. No one no. really knew him. Well, they who, were both who, um, similar to like Southgate, Southgate when he came in. Yeah, exactly. So what I'm saying is, why couldn't we have... And I know it's to do with intent and stuff, but Our why couldn't we have gone... Carsley, isn't but, it? Yeah, or, or Graham Potter. Why I couldn't we have gone with someone like that? And, 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 and because he's English. But because the... The argument then is uh, Thomas Tuchel is a fantastic club manager, but international is not as hard as clubs. So why could we not have gone and got an international uh, manager who does only need to come around every so often? Well, I think I think, like that's what, I think that's what they tried to do with Carsley. Uh, one thing I wanted to ask you guys um, was Lee Carsley's team selection against 
Greece, the one that cost you. How much did it cost you? Yeah, uh, I don't want to talk it about it. Did Ireland scarf? It did. Oh, it did, okay, it did at the time. <laughs> at the time, like, <laughs> before <laughs> Ireland went um, equalised. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, just yeah, like, no. like uh, I, that's one of the games I think that will always stick in my memory because I get what Carsley's doing. If he'd have played a normal team in a normal formation and they and you know they dominated that game, they dominated the the Finland game. You know, he'd be in a shout because they were so good against Ireland. He'd be in a shout for kind of getting the job on a permanent basis. I kind of get what he was doing. He was going, look, let's just let's show how tactically aware I am. Let's try and do something a bit out, out of the box. And if this pays off, I've pretty much guaranteed myself yeah, a job here. Yeah, he, he had to have a go, didn't he? But that's, that's my question, though, is did he have to have a go? Because, if, because if he'd have gone straight safe and they won the game 3-0 and played quite comfortably and won the game... I don't think he even wanted the job. It didn't sound like he wanted I don't it. Think, I don't think no, he did. No, I, I, think, I think he got absolutely battered by everybody after that Greece game. He got, he went, oh, screw this. Did, I actually I, don't I, think Because I think want prior it. to that Greece game, in the days leading up, he was he was quite bullish, but, I think. I think he was quite but he never. But he never said that he'd... He, he has always said he's never applied for the job. I know, but... You, he's but definitely not been made. You'd take, it, take it, it, though, wouldn't you? You'd yeah. take it. That team selection was bizarre. I didn't even But Cole Palmer playing centre midfield. Jude yeah. Bellingham was a false nine. No I knew strikers. that. I knew that we played the false nine. It was a he bizarre played, team. He played Foden, Palmer, and Saka. He had to give it a go. No, no one's, one's ever it. tried that. No, I liked it. I, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I quite liked it. I'm just saying yeah. I quite liked it. I'm and that's really the sort of match you do it. No one cares yes, about course, the Nations yeah. League. We've, 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 I felt sorry we've for the crowd who have actually appeared to go and watch it. Yeah, but then also... Greece were good. Like Greece weren't. A, yeah, but they Greece weren't, aren't good. I know that Greece I know are ranked below Qatar. It I was. Know, it know, was the first top ten nation they'd beaten since they won the Euros. Yeah, in I've seen that. Yeah, it was. Um, <laughs> but, 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 but apparently, it was all for George Ball. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, the, you can see why. They're, 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 even yeah. Then, exactly. You can see we why they all. Greece. I know we should. I agree. But you can see why. Like obviously, with Carsley's selection, with what happened with Baldock, obviously, and him playing for Greece, and uh, I don't know if you've seen the uh, little clip of them in the changing rooms where the Greek captains like get him hyped up for the match he's on about George Bulldog. So there is, there's loads of things that come They looked it. up for it. And they did look uh, up for it. And then, and yeah, I, so... I, I always... Obviously, the George Bulldog thing's horrible, you know, yeah. this whole thing's horrible. I'm not kind of telling him this, but I do always get a little bit annoyed when these teams, like when teams like a massive, like it happened like um, when you play against Man United or where Leeds players do it, where they get really, really massively up for a game and you just think, why can't you do that like... Every like, game. Play at that level all the time. Yeah, it's, I, I, get, I get what you I don't mean. That, I do I get, get what you I get mean. the Greece one is obviously yeah. very different and very sad. I don't mean that, but I just mean in general. I get like, what you mean. Like, I get what you mean. They and were excellent. Greece were excellent. It's yeah. out of the game a bit, isn't it now? Because money should be the thing that drives them with all that, the good contracts. But if you're earning £30,000 a week to play... I don't, well, I you know what? I actually, and you get like a like grand of every cap you got. Yeah, like you're just not that bothered. Uh, but it, 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 I don't ever think, yeah. no matter how much money you can chuck at someone, that, that that will get you up for it as much as a intrinsic reason will. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's me very playing, true. Football, yeah. Like, playing football, if I... Most of them now, money is just an object, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And, exactly. and it almost feels like, well, I'm going to get that money anyway. So, yeah, like, exactly. do I really need... Whereas Gold you've bonuses, got, I suppose. Yeah, but, but, but then, even yeah. still, yeah. even you still... Don't like, you, don't, no, you, don't you don't need it. You don't need it. it. Intrinsic yeah. motivation is so much more yeah. important than extrinsic uh, motivation. So, I, I do know what you're saying. And it's hard to sort of put your finger on it. And also, as a fan of teams and fans of football, and you're looking at someone, you think, how are you not up for it? But then there's just so much stuff that, Goes on that we don't there know is. about. So they've won four out of four. Greece looking yeah. good. Yeah. Do you know Joe, the last them. the last time England lost to a nation that was ranked lower than Greece? Oh, Iceland. Iceland. Northern, Iceland. Northern Iceland. Ireland, two thousand and six. Oh. They're ranked Look at that. ready for the quiz. David Healy scoring. Oh, I think that comes up now. Uh, David Healy's played for Leeds at the time. I cheered that goal. Really? When it went in. Yeah, David Healy. <laughs> in fact, in Northern Ireland's got a hat trick last night as well. Isaac Summit he used to play for Spurs. Yeah. He's playing yeah. playing for Lewis, Standard no. Liège. He is. is he? And yes. he's just scored a hat trick for Northern Ireland first place since David Healy has got a hat trick. Five wow. nil. Five nil. Guy, um, Michael O'Neill's got them. Was it? Got yeah. them final was it Bulgaria they were playing? Bulgaria won't beat him. What a great result. Beating in ten. Five five nil. Bulgaria that good. I'm beating in ten. I know, I'm aware. Okay, fair enough. They're beating ten, but it doesn't. Of course, he bloody doesn't. He's now filming himself playing two touch against a wall. That's all he does. Do you know? Do you know the Bulgarian nod and shake of your head? Do you know this? Is this, no, this, is genuinely true. this is genuinely true. This is genuinely true. You can Google this afterwards. In Bulgaria, <laughs> uh, this means yes, and that means no. <laughs> really? <laughs> only, really? Only in Bulgaria. It's the only country in the world where it's the other way around. Is there a reason? I don't know what it is. So me and my friends, every time that Berbatov scored, we'd always run off going like that. <laughs> 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 uh, but it's genuinely true. You can check that out. Yeah, uh, the, the, nod uh, and the shake of the head are the wrong way around. And the way around. Are Bulgaria. Only Bulgaria. Also, just so going back to you saying they're unbeaten in 10, can you name one Bulgarian footballer? Oh, that's not, currently not playing now. I don't exactly. think so. It's all but ba- uh, it's all ban Hungary or no, still in Petro. Todd Mirov, still in. I think mine Petro. It's someone. It'll, it'll be someone. Oh, who, who did we have for us? We had we had we had a, a centre midfielder, didn't we? 
Oh, Gruev. He's Bulgarian. Oh, yeah, yeah. Gruev. Gruev, who played? Bulgarian. Oh, he played. He's hey, actually genuine. Yeah. <laughs> Gruev's in. That's why they lost. Yeah. Yeah, okay. um, yeah. He wants. He wants. Uh, he wants in the midfield. We'll move on play. from Tuchel. I'm a bit annoyed. Tuchel's not doing the November games. That's a bit crap. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's um, wait, so I would have. That would have given me a reason to look forward to. It does. I understand why he's not. Well, against I don't understand. understand. That's enough of a reason. I don't to look understand why he's not. We've had a couple of signings in the last few days. We have, yeah. Um, we've had uh, Torres and Gary. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I was going to say oh, that. Sorry, oh, please sorry. tell us the story. Right, uh, so we had Gaza who came to the football studio on Sunday. He was on great form, really, really, really great form. Ball. Signed loads of stuff, telling us loads of stories. Um, but apparently he won't be coming back again uh, after <laughs> Jack, who's been having sleepless nights. Jack, tell everyone what, what, what happened with you and Paul Gascoigne. So, so at the signing, me and, me and Tom were doing the shirts. We were holding everything, pulling everything. We were also talking to Gaza. So um, also, I called him it again this morning. Um, so we <laughs> were... On one uh, yeah, well, well, I'll tell you that. Um, so I'm very sort of in in the moment and focused on what I'm doing and I'm, I'm just trying to keep him going because like I say he was on top four and he's telling some great stories trying to keep him talking um, and get some get some gold for him basically um, and, and I asked him a question where it must have I think it was something like who was your favourite manager mm-hmm. um, and it, but because I'd been calling him Gaz and Gaza for some reason in my head I, th- I thought Gary <laughs> so I went <laughs> I must have said like who's your favourite manager then Gary and as soon as I said it Immediately thought, move on, move on, move on. <laughs> and luckily, I don't think he clocked, or he might he have, definitely clocked. He might have clocked, but because we were having a good, like, we were having was. a good chat, weren't we? We were getting on, so mm-hmm. I don't think he wanted to pull me up on it. What did his agent do? His agent looked up like that. Every single person <laughs> in the room looked up like you that. You noticed, yeah, oh, Tom noticed, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I just thought, oh my god, just pretend it didn't happen. <laughs> pretend it didn't happen. Did you go up to the yours at all, Gary? No. But he was, I, on, he was on good form, wasn't he? He was on good form, but I haven't stopped thinking about that. Oh, you need to Gary Gascoigne. Go. Oh, oh, he, he went for what it said. I thought about Gary Pascoigne. Do you know what? <laughs> he, said, he said when he came, he said that Bill was the, the live stream man and now we all know me as the Gary guy that man. called me Gary. He got out of the car and he looked at me and went, ah, he's the live draw man. Yeah, <laughs> 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 but, <laughs> but, <laughs> when he gave us, he gave us a, a kiss on the cheek, a didn't he? a kiss on the cheek, yeah. Me, Tom and Bill, we all got... Tom said he had showered since. And then you're not... Your professional football days are not over. You flew to... Spain on Sunday. Yes, Met. I've not really asked you about this. How, how did it all? Really good, Fernando Torres. Yeah, what a lovely, lovely bloke he was. Beautiful. Um, man. To be fair, yeah, we've got him behind there. Um, it is the more and more footballers meet, and they actually are all really quite sound. There's been a couple that aren't, but there's Ooh. there's the majority. Off, off, off camera, yeah, off the, camera. The, the majority, <laughs> the majority are lovely, and Torres was another footballer to add to that list, and so was. Put my he looks like a nice guy. My mate Gary, so. Um, yeah, Gary, he was Gary a really nice Terry. guy. He, he looks was, like a nice guy. Um, and he spoke really good English, which is so helpful. Well, he did live here for about I 10 know, years. Yeah. But, you, but you, you know when you can, he understood the banter and like we were having a bit of a laugh and a joke and um, other times when I met footballers and they don't speak as good English, sometimes you try and have a bit of banter yeah, with yeah. them and you can't get past that stage. So it was good to have a, a bit of crack with him. Um, really nice guy. Um, he's a very handsome man. Yep. I will have to attest to that. Um, <laughs> well, Nat- Nat- Natalie was my wife. She was very jealous of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. I-, I can imagine Laura was too. Yeah, um, but yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he was, um, yeah, lovely. Yeah, really. when you when you sent the pictures, I think everyone was like, "Oh God, he's a good-looking guy." Yeah, and then, then someone said, "Ann Torres." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. Um, I, well, I did get actually on uh, on the GoPro because we vlogged it. The vlog will come out on the YouTube channel as well of the, both the signings and my two uh, signings my, in two days. My trip to Spain as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, from Meanwood to Madrid. Hey, um, yeah, so it sounds like, sounds like goal three, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> goal three from Meanwood to Madrid. Um, but yeah. Um, on the uh, on the vlog, I got at the end when we all went and got a photo with Torres. I got one of the lads who was there to to film me going over, and uh, the rooms right it, uh, red hot. And you, you, you looked hot. You, look, you looked red in the face. <laughs> you're, you're moving all this stuff around. You're trying to get it all done as quick as possible. There was no aircon in the room. I'm in the middle of Madrid, so I've gone over. And I'm red in the face. My hair's all a bit over the shop. So I started doing my hair. And Torres went, don't worry, my, my friend. You look good. You look good. <laughs> and it's on camera as well. Got so I, get was, that in. I was buzzing get with that. that I thought, there. get in. And I, I think I said, I've got to look good next to you, uh, Fernando. And then as he was leaving on the vlog, because it's still rolling, I'm like, thank you. Thanks so much, Fernando. <laughs> have, a lo- have a lovely day. Thank you for everything. <laughs> nice to meet you. My name's Jack. Um, at Football Prizes is the company. Uh, if you want to find me, just go on Instagram. Uh, yeah, did, nice you ask, you. did you ask him to go out that night? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I asked him. Well, he said, because what happened was the Sunday was. <laughs> Um, bank holiday in Madrid so when I got there to Madrid it was like 12 o'clock at night but the streets were yeah, r- Sergio yeah. Ramos it was so busy and I got these big two suitcases so I was t- telling him that story and he said oh because it's bank holiday and I said well do you want to come out tonight with me 
And he was like, I'm too busy, I'm too busy. And then he said, he's too busy being a taxi for his kids. And I went, all right, well, I'll probably need a lift somewhere. So <laughs> <laughs> and he laughed at that as well. But um, no, he was really good. Gaza was great. It was it was just a great sort two of days. 72 hours. Yeah. yeah, two really lovely blokes. Um, and, and a lot of fun, yeah. And now you're going to lose on the quiz? No, 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 no. There's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this quiz, by the way, is becoming like, like the bane of my life. It's all I think about. Uh, whoever whoever loses this is uh, a well, lot of pressure. Big trouble. It is, this. but then also, it literally can just come uh, no, clutch back uh, no. next week and then it all comes down to one final one. But Shall before, we move on? Shall we yeah. do it? Hello. I thought I'd just, we're doing a little indent, a little advert, um, which is a bit strange. I've managed to get rid of everybody else, so which is quite nice. Uh, normally when I've seen other people do this, they do it quite robotically. Um, so I thought I might join them and go, you can win a fantastic Paul Gascoigne signed uh, England shirt on today's podcast. Uh, here it is. It was signed on th- on Sunday uh, when he came over to the Football Prize Studios. It is a World Cup Italia 90 shirt. Uh, and all you have to do to win this shirt is leave a question in the comments below. And uh, we will put everybody on a wheel. And one person will be winning this fantastic signed Paul Gascoigne shirt. I don't think that was as robotic as probably what it could have been. Uh, but yes, hopefully you all understand. Leave a question in the comments below. And one of you will be winning a Paul Gascoigne signed shirt from the wheel. Good luck. Thank you. We're back to the podcast. Right. Well, perfect then. Let's uh, let's crack on. Caden, what is the time, my friend? Quiz time, baby. Yeah. I'm Bang. so cautious now after last week. <laughs> You, Absolutely you, were ridiculed. Argue, you were arguing the point that you thought you didn't get caught with it. But you absolutely yeah, because, right, so did. my thinking was, I always turn the camera off, I reset the battery, and then we go into the text. So then because Bill caught me caught me out by doing it before the Correct. battery, I was like, well, that doesn't count. Look, Katie, but it definitely Katie, you got, does. you got to be on your toes. It does. I would say that. One nil Bill. What's a scoutsman? Yeah, prepare fair to, fair. to always oh, be prepared. If, if you fail to prepare, scouts. prepare to fail. Is that scouts. what you mean? Oh, the scout more is just be prepared. Be prepared. Yeah, just be prepared. I was wondering about that. I thought you were about something different. Anyway. Jack's still on about the wall. I want you. Never trust. <laughs> the yeah, brilliant. It's eight all on the quiz. Oh, and this is absolutely oh. this this round is massive. We've never led. We actually haven't. Just saying but the is pressure. That a good thing though. Yeah. Maybe we, maybe we want these to go nine eight. Bring it back nine well, all. Can we just get on? And with then this in win, two weeks yeah. time we win it. Win mm. it at the final hurdle. It. Oh, you know what? I would hate to go nine eight up and lose it. Absolutely. We beat seven two up and lose it. Yeah, that would be. In all fairness, you literally were six one up. Look, 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 look. We can go back and forth, ins and outs. Let's just go on It's about that final week, mate. Who's eight 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 uh, Seb Short from Cheese Room Podcast. Thanks, 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 Thank you, Seb. We have got a brand new format this week. Um, so I'm, I'm going to read nervous. it just to make yeah. it interesting. You all look very nervous. I'm also nervous about getting these answers right. So please do <laughs> better. Not nervous, but I'm going to get a little bit of <laughs> 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 um, Right, I'll just read out the description of the quiz now. If you get it right, you can gamble that point for two more points on the second harder question. So if you answer the first one correctly... There's a chance that well, you like can gamble it. for an extra. I like it. Is this on? Is this on? This is first round. Just the first round. First round. That's the first round. So I get three Ooh. points if I gamble, then got it right. If you gamble, I got it right. If, if the gamble question. There is a second part to this. About to explain. So oh. if you get the Sorry. first question wrong, then the bonus two points question can be buzzed in by all the other players for oh, two points, including me, including the yeah. including the, the same team. Including yeah. I, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and the original. Ooh. Well, the original player can't answer. Oh, I like this. I like this. Um, these aren't tailored, but I've just randomly put names. Oh. Okay. Oh, so, oh, he's tricky. Now I'm just starting with a random name at the top and the bottom. I've, okay. I'm not reading these and tailoring them okay. myself or anything. I'm just putting them. Okay. Okay. So Jack, you're up first. I hate that. <laughs> Bill will be slipping the phone. Great job, Caden. Okay. Are you just ready? Not really, but yeah. Trent. It's Trent. <laughs> Trent. Mate. There he is. Struggling to read. Again, Trent Alexander <laughs> Arnold. <laughs> 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 Trent Alexander Arnold scored from a free kick for England, but who was the last player before him to score for a free kick for England? <laughs> oh, that's a good question. Uh, it's a good question. Is that the easy one? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Jesus. Kieran Trippier. Incorrect. So we've got two names right now. We've got Saka and Dyer. I, I thought, I did think Saka, did but. Let's go in. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it one time. Yeah, Eric Dyer. No, incorrect. It was Marcus Rashford. Oh, oh. he wrote Rashford down. Wrote Rashford down. <laughs> Means nothing now. <laughs> <laughs> I just had a feel. What? I remember him scoring. You've done well to pull that one out. I don't remember that. I don't remember that. Did he score a free kick against the Ran? I, oh. I just remember him scoring a free kick. Yeah. Eric Dyer was, was a long time ago. I, I was at the game. Yeah, I was in I was at the game. time ago. In France. In France, yeah, I was at the game. I saw a Trent Alexander Arnold scored the 
most recent free oh, kick before he? this free kick. Kieran Chippy was a good shout. Yeah, so I just... And he well, came in the last one. I know, well, yeah. No, but it was, I was... <laughs> Educated <laughs> guess yeah. is what you mean. <laughs> off, Asher, okay, team. so no, no, no points there. Uh, moving on to the second question for Bill. <sighs> Come on, Bill. Who was the youngest player in Lee Carsley's initial squad? Oh, that's really, Ooh. really hard. Okay, okay, I've got an answer. Okay. I think it's him. I'm between two, Tom. Then just say the younger one. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> it's one of them four. It's got to be. Do you think so? Yeah. My initial was him. Oh, I hate this bloody quiz. Cobby Maynou. Correct. Oh, well done. done. Great answer. Well Good done. Answer. That's what Jack wrote down four times as well, just to get in your head. Did you have Maynou on any of your four? Cobby, no. Cobby, Cobby, Cobby. I thought Liveramento. <laughs> I, 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 I thought Adam Walter. Oh, I, I, I was in Adam Walter. I, I was thinking Adam Gomez. Gomez. He picked him, did he? Oh, did he not? No, no, no. Oh, well, they, they were the two I was between. He's so not good. Mormon, he's Mormon. Yeah, he didn't pick yeah. him. So your bonus two point question. Oh, yeah. Do you want to no. gamble? Does he want it or not? That's what I'm asking. <laughs> oh, look at you. Uh, back yourself. Just keep an absolute back win. Back yourself. <laughs> these, <laughs> no. these, these easy questions aren't easy. No, they're not easy. Oh, yeah. and also, I, I don't even hard want to know that? what the hard ones are. How old is Cobby Maynew to the exact second? <laughs> 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 okay, um, right. No, on. we're going to take the point. Okay. Yeah. No, fine. I, I agree with that. Right, well, that says fine. a lot about you two. Um, Ash, you're up next. <laughs> well, try getting yours right okay, and you get might get one to You're not going to gamble. No one's gambling here. I want one. You ready? Yeah. Which squad member made just his second England appearance last week, nearly seven years after his first? Oh, I know that. Is. I, know, I remember this. Solanke. Correct. Good answer, Ash. Oh, I'm looking forward to this gamble. gamble. Longest gap. Oh, if it's the longest gap, I know it. The long it's longest gap since Ian Walker. But I don't yeah, know. Yeah, well, oh, I'm so angry with it. That your could action. be the gamble. That could be the gamble. Well, obviously, Ash, you take the decision. Make the <laughs> it's decision. up to you. Make the decision. <laughs> if you want if to you make the decision. If you get it, you get it. Sorry, right. that, could be, sorry, that follows on nicely. Can I get involved in this, or is it just Ash? No, only Ash, but buzz, then you can still ask him there. Shall I go for it? So I need this. Shall we go for it? Yeah, go for it, Ash. Let's go for it. Okay, right. The bonus guy. So hold on a minute. Like, as soon as you say wrong, is it just buzz time? Yeah, I'm assuming. I'm assuming it must be. Yeah, it's buzz time. I don't think it is. Isn't that your answer? As soon as he says wrong. As soon as he says I wrong. can't hear a word you're saying, <laughs> and I've got headphones in. <laughs> All right. Um, are you ready? Go on. Bonus point question. Please be in Walker. Which Please English on. footballing icon went no. seven years between his first and second England caps thanks to the Second World War? Oh, my Jesus, Nabas. <laughs> nice gamble. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Finney. Incorrect. <sighs> Go on. Stanley Matthews. Correct. Yeah! Oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Good answer. I don't even know who that is. Can I just ask? Do we that... get three points no, for that? You've got three points, you've no, got three points in total. Yeah, now. they get two. two for that. Oh, so, so, it's, so, is it, so do we not get that yeah. point? Yeah. That's what I'm about to ask. Drew, oh, don't get the point. Do you have past his statue? He gambled yesterday. Did you have past his statue? I drove past his mural. I was, co I was, co I was convinced you were going to say Stanley Matthews. And I was going to miss. Look at that for a piece of artwork on that wall. Why didn't you get that? They all just. I don't even know. I don't, I'll be honest with you, I don't even know. They all mixed with them. 3 0 to Bill and Tom. God, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Well, 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 it, 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 it was in the 40s, I don't know. Um, I was too busy focused on this. Is that 3 0? 3 0. It's all right. 3 0 is fine. Yeah, we're, oh, we're we're it's a that. long, long way to Tom, go. you're up. Yeah, here comes a weak link. I'm on now. Are you ready? Yeah. For one point, name all four foreign clubs represented in the England squad last week. Ooh. Oh, good all question. Four, all, four. all four foreign clubs represented in the England squad last week. Um, yeah. Okay, so we'll start with Real Madrid. Yeah. Yeah. We'll go Bayern Munich. And then we will go Lille. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the fourth yeah. one now. No, I, I don't this is exactly where we're um, up to, mate. I'll be honest with you. Um, <laughs> on the off chance that one of them you was in that I didn't know about, I'm going to say AC Milan. Yeah, uh, incorrect. No. So are we going to have to go with that? I one? think we're going to. I don't think he was. Madrid. We're saying Conor Conor Gallagher. Gallagher. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, Who was Conor it? Gallagher. Was it Conor Gallagher? I, I haven't got the name. I haven't oh, got the names. I've just got the four clubs. Oh my! Did you know that? I didn't. Oh, was it Gallagher? Ashley Grint, well done. They pulled it. That's so unfair. You got so three uh, out of the four. So I know. I just thought of that. I didn't know. I didn't yeah, even know. He's got the, the squad. easy three. Sorry, Bill. So oh. sorry. Yeah, well, I think Leal's harder than. No, no. Lee instantly Angel really Gomez. Yeah. That is the end of the individual questions. We're now moving on to it? the around the room. Okay. And then there's who am I? So oh my god, I'm looking forward to it. Okay. I feel like this is where. It's been a while since we've done this one. Yeah, three one's not a bad position. 
It's not a bad position. I'd no. argue it's probably oh, better to be 3-1 up. Kane, could you tell me <laughs> right, are you ready to hear the first one? Come on, yes. Tom. Come on, Tom. Yeah, so Tom, you're the first one to say one here, so you're at the what advantage. Wrong? Um, Harry Kane won his 101st cap against Finland and is 10th on the all-time list. Peter Shilton is top with 125 caps. Go around the room naming the eight players in between for a point each. If you get one wrong, you are out, but anyone remaining can continue to answer for extra points. Cool. So who's top? Peter Shilton. Yeah. Cool. So we'll kick it off with Wayne Rooney. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that. Can it? No. David Beckham. It's so, it's so hard, man. Uh, is it? Is it that hard? Well, we'll swap one day if you want, mate, but <laughs> Ash will lose. Really? <laughs> <laughs> um, I said Beckham. Is Beckham right? Yeah. Is it Bill, yeah? It's me. Um, uh, Ashley Cole. Ooh. Good. Yeah. Good effort. Bobby Charlton. Correct. Oh, God. I know you feel so relieved. You feel so relieved when you've done it. I think I've got two others. Frank Lampard. Oh, that's right. That was mine. Yeah. That was mine. Was How many left? Three left? Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm good. Yeah, you're done. Steven Gerrard? I don't think you did. Yeah. I oh, did he? Yeah, he was one of mine. I thought he was. Good answer. Really oh. annoying that, because I was going to go for him. Uh, yeah, that was... I wanted to say Lampard. Mm. Um, uh, Come on. Uh, Come on. Uh, Jesus Christ. John Terry. <laughs> no, not there. Oh. Okay, is Bobby Moore? Yeah. Get in. Seaman. Not there. No, he's not. Oh, God. It's one of two for me, but I feel like... You can only say one. Don't say both I players. Feel like, I feel like both are wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Kyle Walker. Not there. It's oh, a horrible guess, that. Ash, I'll be honest. It's a really bad guess. Uh, horrible. He'll be, he'll be on 90. Um, is, sorry, is Harry Kane 10th? Sorry. Um, so there's not anyone below yep, Harry Kane? Yeah, 10th. Okay, I'm just going to go with who I've got in my head. Uh, Gary Lineker? No, not there. It was Billy Wright. Oh. Oh. No, Fine. No, no, no. Like, you know, you know I don't mind my John Terry shout now. So what is the score? Sorry, Kate. It's, it, it's now 6-5. Um, six, 2-0 five. Six, six, five. Cool. Tom. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. God, yeah. they're really nervous. Yeah, you yeah. got four, we got three. Yeah, they're yeah, really yeah. nervous. Yeah. But who's starting the next one? It. Ash starting the next one. Yeah, Ash is starting the next one. Other than Harry Kane, eight currently eligible. This includes those still playing, but but retired from England. England players have more than 60 caps. Who are they? Sorry. Oh. It's really weird. So who's worded. got more than 60 caps who are still playing football right now? Yeah. Perfect. For England. For England. Kyle Walker. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah. Wait, so hang on. Can you, can you clarify this for me? There's, so there's they're still English footballer, but they're not retired. No, no, they might be retired as well. Um, they're still playing football. They're retired from international football. Right. So they're not retired from international football, though. Yeah, well, that's what yeah. You just said Walker, though. No, he said Walker. Yeah, no, but no, no, he, he said, said they could be retired from international football. But they're yeah. still oh, playing, they're they're still football. playing club football. Sorry. Okay. They're still a professional footballer. Go Raheem on. Sterling. Uh, correct. Mm. Oh, it's me, innit? it? you. Oh, God. I hope I I'm my struggle here. Over actually. 60. Um, yeah, over 60 caps. Oh, has he? I'm really over here. Uh, he must have. Oh, God. This is horrible. <laughs> Got three people in my head there. Oh, in my head, I'm, I'm thinking they all have. But then I'm thinking... Have they? Yeah. Just go with one. Uh... Gosh, I'm so sorry if this is wrong, mate. All right. I've got another one in my head. I'm just going to go Jordan Pickford. Uh, Pickford is there, yeah. Yes, thank God. That's my next one. I've got, I've got a few. I've got a couple. I've yeah. got a few. Oh, this is horrid. Come on. Come on. Come on, you've got five on, left here and you're stopping. Chris Smalling. Oh, what an awful <laughs> shout. What an awful, no. awful <laughs> shout. <laughs> There with the worst nice shouts bad. for any answer ever given on this podcast. I, 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 I had a few names in my head of Chris Smalley, was it? Chris Is he still playing? I have five Is names in my head. Where Chris the hell yeah. have you pulled Chris Smalley? <laughs> <laughs> Put your head in shape. No, no, just ignore him, Tom. Ignore him. Right, move on, come on, come on. on. Harry Maguire. Yeah, that was mine. Uh, Chris Smalley. Yes. Yeah, good answer. That was mine. What did he say? Harry Maguire. Maguire. Oh. I didn't think he'd have that many. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you throw Chris well, Small in that ball? He's at 31. <laughs> that's that's more there. than I thought. That's that more than I thought. Oh, I thought. Jesus Christ, that's so funny. Oh, shit, I was going Harry Maguire. I was quite confident with Harry I've Maguire. Got I've got three. I've got, I had yeah, four. I've got, f I've got three. I've got three. Eight. I've got two. I've got four. No, I think. Go on then. 
John Stones. Uh, that was one that of was mine. Correct. Mine, yeah. That's annoying. Is it me? Jordan Henderson. That was one of mine. Yeah. Oh, these are all names I was thinking of. Is it back to me now? Yeah, Why did I say it's Ash, I believe. So there's only two left. Yeah. I think I know him. Um, Trippier. Yes, good answer. Not there. Oh, oh, I, I said Trippier, to be fair. Well. Um, Marcus Rashford. Oh. I want to say him. Not there. Oh. I'm going to go with I'm thinking. Luke Shaw. Not there. Wow. Is That's James all of you, isn't it? Milner is there. Oh, but my God. Didn't think of Why it. did I say Smalling? But you, but you were all Milner out there, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah. And then who else? Else? Don't uh, say Adam Lallana. Declan Rice. Declan Rice. Wow. Has he? So, uh, James Milner's Ash. a great shot. I was nowhere near Milner. Uh, Milner and Trippier. Yeah. Chris <laughs> Marley. Yeah, Chris Marley's really bad. That is, I have no idea. I thought of Milner and oh, Henderson before I said it as well. Why did you go to Chris Marley? Why Trippier? Because I thought, I thought he was like yeah, our Trippier staple centre-back before Trippier must be close and Maguire. Sure. Trippier yeah, and I can sure see what you're thinking, but like, he's more. He's going to be, yeah. Yeah. So that's changed just by one point. So 55. Ash and Jack are on nine, and Shots. you guys are on eight. So we're winning. Oh, oh. wow! Is that so that is right. Yeah, it is yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. As long as it's three nil. Huh? Oh, that's changed, hasn't it? Uh, oh, Bill Smalling. You're you're up first in the round of the next one. I think so, it was that bad as you're making out, to be honest. No, it wasn't. It was fine. <laughs> Eight of the players initially called up by Lee Carsley last week were not part of the England Euro 2024 squad. Name them. Starting with you, Bill. Okay. Jack Grealish. Mm. Yep, that's good there. Get off first. Start up, by the way. Is it you? It's Jack. Jack. Is it me? Jack. Uh, Angel Gomez. Correct. Yes. Chris Smalling wasn't in the <laughs> 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 Dean Henderson. Uh, he was in it. He was no, in the Euros. No, he wasn't. In the US guys. He was in the Euros. Dean squad. Henderson is not there. <laughs> yes! He signed the shirt. He signed the shirt. Like, we literally had this conversation on the podcast about him going. Yeah, fine. Ash gone. So I'm sorry, you. Bill. For sake. Yeah. Correct. Good answer. I'm telling you, um, Gibbs White. That's Correct. I think I've got one. Well Ash. I think I've got one too. Madueke. That's what I was going to say. Uh, Correct. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Get Correct. Livramento. No. Oh, was he not in the squad? That is sorry, not in the squad. I think he was in the previous one. Yeah. Sorry. Colwell. Good shout. Correct. Great Good. shout. That well, I wouldn't have got that either. It's a great shout. Um, I'm struggling. Is there two left? Yeah. Two left. This is tough, this one. I don't know if he's in the squad. James Madison. Uh, not there. Yeah, I didn't think That's he's a in good the effort. Squad. Sorry, Ash. I've got, I've got, is it, is it, is well, it you can see, you can see, yeah, you can say it out loud. Bro. And how many answers have you got to go through? Two left. Um, Johnston. No, not there. Who's Johnston? You want to know the last Johnston. two? Oh, sorry. Yeah, go on then. Go on. Go on. Uh, Nick Pope and Rico Lewis. Rico Lewis. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, yeah, they're tough. I wouldn't have got them. Nick, I'm not Nick annoyed. Pope I didn't think... Injured, I was quite happy with Johnston. I thought yeah, I, was, I, I thought, thought I was going to pull Johnston. Yeah, I, went for, I just thought I thought of people that it would be someone that's made their England debut, but it would just be someone that wasn't like injured or something. Pope mm. was injured. I think, I think Johnson might have been the keeper that went. I think he was one before... Because Livermento, because Livermento was the one before as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's yeah. made it 11-12. Still to us. Still to you guys. Yeah, cool. Sorry, Bill. No, don't we? Don't we? Don't we? I don't know why I put Henderson. Tom's falling apart this season. No, it's fine. Come on, we still got, we're still, right, we're still the, got this. The last one no, uh, more, with nice. Jack's. No, no last oh, one sorry, with Jack sorry, starting. Um, Argentina are currently ranked first in the FIFA rankings, while England are fourth. Name the other teams ranked in the top ten. Oh, you've seen hell. this. You've seen this. Oh, I, I've not seen Christ. this as much as you. Hell, 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 hell. Okay, uh, Brazil. Yeah. We'll say France. That's right. Is it me? I'll go Spain. Yeah. Oh, Christ. Belgium. Correct. Well done. Good job. Uh, Germany. Not there. Yes! Germany aren't there. Nah, it was between them and another one who I was thinking of. Who was the other one? I'm not telling you. <laughs> Ash, you can get these, Ash. You can he get these. I was thinking Scotland. I've seen, I, I do the drop every day, don't I? I yeah, think, so I've, I think I've seen Italy must be there. Is that your answer? Yes. 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 Uh, I knew they were there as well, but I was trying to hold it. Sorry, Ash. That's all right. Colombia? Correct. Oh my god. Is it? Oh, I was going Colombia. I was going well that, that, done. That, that. Well was done. The, that was literally yeah, well the drop. Two left. Sure I, put that, I was going Colombia. I was going Colombia. Holland. 
Um, Netherlands. Yeah. Portugal. Correct. Ooh. Yeah, well done. That's well it. done. Sorry, I should let down there. So they've gone back in the lead. Hang on a second. I'm pretty sure we're you guys right. are in the lead by one. Yeah, I thought yeah, we were. Yeah, yeah. 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 You're moving on to the Who Am I? Could I hear all your buzzers? Ash first, please. Jack, Bill, and Tom. Here what's, we go. What's the score? You're in the lead by one. Yeah, it's 15-16 to oh you guys. Oh my god. And 16, how many? <laughs> five, uh, the most you can get is five. The least you can get is two. And how many? How many questions are there? Two. Oh there's only God. two. There's only two. Who am I? <laughs> Hell. Why is there wow. only two? This is it. I think because of the um, round the rooms, I think he's done less. You imagine if this was nine all in the overall quiz. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> the first statement for five points. I am deceptively tall, standing at six foot four inches, and started my career as a centre back. It's vague, isn't it? <laughs> oh, Bill knows it. Okay. Deceptively tall. Um. No. Nah, nah. Crack on. Get yeah, everyone happy for the four yeah. pointer. The team, so the two teams I played for currently reside in the second and third divisions. No, I've no, no idea. Skip okay, it. Okay, three pointer. I retired at 25 after suffering a knee injury and coached the current manager of Germany in my first coaching role. Oh, my God. oh I'm never gonna get this. The, ne the next step is the last one. Hang on, hang on. Say that statement again. I retired at 25 after suffering a knee injury and coached the current manager of Germany in the first coaching role. In my first coaching role. Oh, I don't know who this is. Are we skipping? Have you got an idea? Maybe. Have you got an idea? I've got a name in my head. <laughs> Are we skipping? Skipping? Yes? Yeah. No? <laughs> Are we doing two like points? Yeah, I'm like looking that. at you all. Like you all look like you're like like ready to go. <laughs> go to the next I'm, one. I'm it, it feels like the Cold War. Someone's going to go. Are you two going to I'm, I'm, you two gonna no, skip I've or got, what? I've got a name here, but I don't want to give you the two points. Okay, so what do you want to do? No, no, just skip. Okay. Skip. Right, skipping. next time for two points. I have managed some of the biggest teams in Europe. What the hell? Go on, Tom. I'm just going to have to say Thomas Tuchel. Correct. Yeah! Yes! That's, that, that's the one I had on the last round as well. No, I didn't know that either. Did what a shout! I was thinking what a I was nowhere near Thomas Tuchel. Oh, I could have had an extra point. Yeah. I was so I, annoying. I, I, I had German because I had English. Who did he play for? That was play? such what? a great shout. Oh, that's 15, yes. 18 to you, you guys. Stick Chris Small up your ass, boys. Oh, well, hold on. How many is that? 15, 18. Don't talk too bloody soon. What's the score? 15, 18. I love how you guys are the smallest. I do. I always do it. What's that about? Dyslexia. Yeah. I don't know. Point. Dyspraxia. Annoying. I don't know what right. it is. So it's three times five by six times three. I thought. Okay. I thought I was. I wanted to go for the last one, but I thought that the next statement I would be like, "I am now the current." Yeah, exactly. Wasn't any more statements? England. No, it was in the two point. Oh, the two point. It was, yeah. it was tough. That That's I was nowhere near too cool. No, Great shout. So that, that means that, that for you guys to win, to you have to get the four point error minimum. Or you could draw with three. And I might have one of Alan's quick quizzes kicking about where I can do a thingy. Right. No, I think we call it a draw. I think we have like zero. No, eight all. No, go eight all. Go eight all. No, I can't. We both go to nine all. Lad like that. Right, go on, Yeah, true. We could do that. Right. So the first statement of the second one. I made my club debut in the Anglo-Italian Cup but went on to win 40 international caps. Can you say that again? Sorry, mate. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I made my club debut in the Anglo-Italian Cup, but went on to win 40 international caps. Pretend like you know. No, I don't. Oh, you're looking at me dead like, trying to pressurise if you the both. No, I don't know, Caden. No, go on. I'm happy to push on. Four-pointer, everybody? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I played for six English clubs, but I didn't play for England. Let's go. Are we ready for the three-pointer, everybody? Yeah, come in on. Agreements? We okay. need this. I made the most of my appearances for Everton before turning my hand to coaching, although I've only managed 10 club games in a non-caretaker role for Brentford. Go on, Gabriel. <laughs> go on, then. Is it Duncan Ferguson? No, not correct. I had Duncan Ferguson in my head. Okay. Is that what you were thinking? Right. Ah! Right, and then he was at Forest Green for a while. Go on, Mark, um, who are you thinking? Because you were about to say someone then. Buzz. When have you got a buzz? I don't know. Sylvan yeah. Distan. Nah, incorrect. Can I, can, I, can I guess who it is? Sorry. Yeah, you can do if you want. He's going to be Italian then, do you think? I don't, I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. He's the only Italian I could think of who played for Do you want to hear the two-pointer before you answer? Yeah, yeah. say the two-pointer. Yeah. The two-pointer, two I'm best known for working with youth teams and won a major youth tournament in 2023. Lee Carsley. Yep. Oh, Lee Carsley. Is it? 
course it is. He played for Everton and he didn't represent England because he's Irish. Oh, my God. So that ends it with 18-15 to Bill and Tom. That, that first one was Making confusing me. Making it 9-8 overall. Well done. Well done. Yeah. That first well one was well... Oh, I didn't know what it meant. Anglo-Italian. Was that like an English-Italian tournament or something? Yeah, is that what it is? So, yeah. <laughs> well done, boys. Take, yeah, it does make it interesting. 9-8. So if you win next week, you are the uh, champions of the first instalment of the Football Prizes Quiz on the Offsiders podcast. I don't if want we... to say it's not deserved. Oh, no, no, it's not at all. But it also screams of them for them to be in the lead again and bottle it. So yeah, that's true. if anything, we are in, <coughs> we're in a, probably we're good, yeah, good a position. better position than they are. Yeah. Um, right, we've got some questions coming we, we'll from just, we'll our... We'll um, still talking on the pitch. We've got some, <laughs> <laughs> we've got some questions coming from the uh, Football Prizes Faithful, as always. Thank you very much. Um, I was going to call you Caden then. Bill, do you want to do the first one? <laughs> yeah, this is from Martin Parslow. Thank you, Martin. Martin's a big, uh, big Wickham Wonders fan. Is he? Big oh. Wickham Wonders fan, Martin. Um, who is the most loyal footballer to their club? I've got an answer in mind. Um, Gerard, probably. Totti. Yeah. Totti. Totti. Totti Gerard. could have gone anywhere. That's all right. Ger- Gerard tried to push a move to Chelsea. Gerard yeah, I know, but he did stay. Oh, on the Totti one, sorry. I saw in um, in Madrid there was like a, f- a legend of football store that I went into. There was a Totti shirt that was like a little graphic and it was just Totti walking off with like flares in the background and it just had a one-man club yeah. and yeah. it looked sick. Yeah. yeah, he's, yeah Totti's legend. a good shout. Legend. It's hard to argue against yeah. Totti. I think no, Mark maybe. Noble maybe. Yeah, I know, but is he most loyal, or is he just because no one else? I was going, I was going for Jamie Vardy. Not, yeah. he's not a one club man, but you know, when Arsenal came in, I think yeah. a lot of other people would have ran, would have ran <laughs> and taken that run. And like, you know, we spoke about Vardy before, where his career, I think, would have gone downhill. But you know, he stayed, and I think he won the FA Cup after yeah, that. And I think, shout. and I think, you know, he's an absolute Leicester legend. Legend, yeah. So that's a good shout. Jamie Vardy's a good shout. Gary Kelly, Terry, Leeds United, John Terry, Terry's good. Nacho Fernandez, Terry went to Villa, yeah, Madrid. Yeah, but not no, not, Terry one club, not in the prime of his. Yeah, but that's not did, a question. Yeah, he did go to the left. Just forgot about that. Loyal. Oh yeah, true. Um, <laughs> okay, right. I've got one from Keith Fay Logan. Um, oh. Who do you guys? Del Piero. They got relegated. Fergie wants to buy him from Juventus. And oh yeah, because the they got forced Juventus, down. Didn't I want to yeah, get him promoted. Yeah, he stayed. He stayed he's at. He's here. Still, he's, 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 I was going to say he's, he's my literal my hero. If he stayed at Juventus to get him promoted back from Serie yeah. Well, I'm, I'm assuming Absolutely. Caden's done this on purpose. Follow cause... him on social media. I love Del Piero. He's, he's got <laughs> such a great, sorry, he's got such a great life. Uh, if you follow him on social media, he literally just goes around and does like legends matches and goes and like his ambassadors everywhere. Yeah. And he's got such a great Apparently life. Apparently he's lovely as well. He's, great. he's my ideal person to have a sign- uh, signing with. Yeah, he's, yeah. Like, Del Piero would be amazing. Would I not go to that one? No. no <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Keith Fay Logan. Um, uh, like I say, I think Caden has done this on purpose or if he hasn't, it's a very happy coincidence. Who do you guys think is the greatest journeyman of all time? Well, you're going to put yourself in that. No, no, no. I'm <laughs> saying the opposite to the most loyal. Who's the got to be man? Like did you, did you, did you get lucky with those two questions, or did you? No, no, it's planned. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, Zlatan R9. He's been about John Marquis. Hey, baller! By the way, <laughs> John Marquis. How many clubs has he had? Why have I heard that name before? It's tr- Shrewsbury. Uh, Shrewsbury's been about. Who been about? Nile Ranger. Like, yeah. <laughs> Where's he now? Kettering. God, no. He scored. The, I mean, you know, he, he he was, he's in the FA Cup the other day for Kettering. Yeah, yeah. He talked um, about how much of a bad lad he was. Yeah. Had an interview. He had his name tattooed above his eye, didn't he? Or well, just in no, case, in case you forget. Yeah. In case you forgot, for which no. body part he cannot see yeah. unless he looks in a mirror. Better and sleep. Then he's backwards. Better sleep. So open. <laughs> <laughs> I think Charlie Daniels has been about. I don't even know who that is. Bournemouth left back. Has he? Didn't he sleep with Donald Trump? Some of Daniels. Tommy Daniels. <laughs> what else? That's we have been far too time. political. <laughs> far yeah, too political on this, on this show. Very political. Yeah, we, we, t- we turn from the offside yeah. to um, some sort of <laughs> policy. Gotta finish that off, Jack. I'm teeing myself up here, but I've got to. You really walk sat away, with gusto at the away. start. <laughs> <laughs> we turn from the offside to something else. Zlatan's a good shout. R9's oh, a good that's shout. R9. Played for both Milan. Played for Madrid. Chris Small. Hey, Maidstone legend, Chris Small. Yeah, Chris Small. Um, hey, we won the quiz. Um, yeah, well, yeah. How many clubs have you represented? Me? Yeah. Not that many. Uh, I'm not calling you a journeyman. Really. I was just generally asking. Um, Wakefield, Eccles Hill, Humber. Uh, are, we, are you on about semi pro teams? Yeah, like, I, I, don't care about, I don't four? care about uni teams. Four, yeah, four. four. Well, we oh, no, no, four. no. Yeah. Four? <laughs> what, four? Spider Man? <laughs> uh, no, Newark. <laughs> Five, five, five teams five so far. Teams. Yeah, which are not bad. Yeah, but you're, 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 you're only 17. Yeah, there'll be, <laughs> there'll be some teams, that are, some players that are 25 that have been to a bloody lot of teams. Um, I can assure you on that, especially in non-league. But um, yeah, that's it. 
Greatest Perfect. journeyman of all Done. time. Zlatan. You saying Zlatan? I'm saying Zlatan. Yeah, I know about R9. R9, yeah, Zlatan. R9. R9. Yeah, yeah. I think Zlatan's n- n- most known for just jumping What about um, Anelka? Yo, yeah. PSG, that's a good Real Madrid, yeah, Bolton, Liverpool, uh, Chelsea, no. Man City, Arsenal, Liverpool. Uh, what about Marcus? Is it Marcus Ben? He was at a lot yeah. of clubs, wasn't he? Raheem yeah. Sterling. 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 Was Sterling. Uh, well, he's going around a lot. Yeah, he is. It's kind of tick them all around. off, isn't he? There's loads of players that have been absolutely everywhere. Wait for Gareth Southgate to sign him. Oh, Man so yeah, so instead of twenty five pounds like credit, we're doing something a little bit different this week. If you leave a comment in uh, in the comments below, uh, we're going to be giving away some very very special prize. You might have seen it earlier um, in the indent. Jack, do you want to grab it out, Jack? Got to warm it. Just looking for it then, like whipping out, Jack. I'm sat waiting. Here we go. Yeah, the uh, look at that. Is just Gary there. himself, Gary, <laughs> <laughs> Paul, Gary Gascoigne. There you go. Uh, Welcome, Italian ninety signed Gaz shirt signed uh, in front of us on Sunday. Uh, from Gary himself. My mate. Um, Gary Gascoigne's on Coronation Street, I'm sure he's. Is yeah. there a Gary yeah, Gascoigne? So you can see yeah. why I made the Gary Barlow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I was convinced Gary we were going to call him It's an absolute howler, but it, it's... Uh, <laughs> we've all been there. Being Mike. Ga- Gazza Barlow? He just said, no, that's Gary Barlow. Gary Barlow's in tear. <laughs> yeah, he is. Um, so yeah, leave a... Oh, he's a ginger one, isn't he? Sorry, Phil. No. Uh, he looks yeah. like you. He looks like you. Yeah, Gary, yeah. Never mind. Oh, I think we need to take that. <laughs> I'll take that. I thought you were saying... Hey! 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 On that now. Hey! Hey! Terrible now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was like a domino effect. <laughs> <laughs> what did Bill lagged? <laughs> <laughs> Bill just lagged behind then. Wait. Wait. <laughs> yeah, it's always a pleasure, never a chore. When you leave, close the door. See you later, oh, everyone. Oh, oh, oh. Oh.